Well, finally, Daniel Andrews, I've got to say, congratulations to him, because while there are some people who fall asleep at night with a picture of Daniel Andrews by their bed, these were the I Stand With Dan crowd that were there for many, many a year. And I've got to say, I've never quite understood what their affection was in particular for this man. But I've got to say, now I see it. You see, Daniel Andrews has been able to unite the country against him. Even the front page of the labour-loving West Australian newspaper in WA, which often plays for Twitter love, said the gold medal for the worst Premier in the nation was, you guessed it, Daniel Andrews. And plenty of people who have not much to do with politics can see his decision to cancel the Commonwealth Games, a Games that he bid for, was wrong. I did have to go and check a whole different number of media sources to make sure that it was true. Um, and then I guess I'm embarrassed. It's deflating for not just the athletes, but the entire country and particularly the state of Victoria and Melbourne. I'm really disappointed for kids all around regional Victoria that now won't get the opportunity to see the stars in their hometown, to be inspired by the wonderful athletes. And now we're into the new game where the greatest Premier the Victoria's ever had won't tell you what it will cost to tear up a contract that he signed. So you can ask me many times as you want, but I'm not going to find myself having an argument with people. Yeah. I'm not going to speculate on what that is, because that's directly speculating on the negotiations that are going on on the other side of the world. That's not about the negotiations. Well, How no, I'm sorry, it is. It absolutely is. How is that it absolutely in the negotiations is. for the exit It absolutely is central, and I'm not going to go... Genuinely, I'm not going to take you through why that's relevant. Of course that's relevant. One of the best middle stumps that have been delivered Andrew's way doesn't come from a politician, it comes from James Magnuson, a bloke who was able to do very well at Commonwealth Games. Quite successful, wasn't able to repeat it at the Olympic Games, but he just middle stumped the absurdity of this bloke who continues to gaslight, which is amazing because he's anti-gas. And the fact that anyone down there south of the border would believe anything that comes out of this guy's mouth is an indictment on them as well. The last Commonwealth Games hosted here in Australia in 2018 on the Gold Coast was done for $1.5 billion. So anybody that believes Dan Andrews when he says this is blown out to $6 billion, possibly $7 billion, is absolutely <laughs> kidding themselves. Now, while obviously the people that are ultimately affected by this are the athletes who were, who were looking forward to being able to compete in front of their home crowds. They deserve that opportunity, but obviously that's now not going to happen. But obviously think about the other victims, like the bloke who was the COVID commander. He was the one who was all tough talking about whether removalists were or weren't allowed to come in because, oh, the Wu flu, it's going to kill everyone. It's killing more people now than it was during lockdown, but shh, don't tell anyone. Well, you see, the cushy little job that he got for services to the Premier during the pandemic was to be part of the committee that would run the games. He was getting several hundred thousand dollars and now he has no portfolio. So do think of the real victims here. Now, of course, he will probably find another job inside the Victorian government, but if he doesn't, our thoughts and prayers are with the former COVID commander. If this is what winning looks like, Daniel Andrews, well... I'm not entirely sure that the people of Victoria, even when you run again in three and a bit years, will be just as loving this time as they had been many times before.